Hello humans, it's just Martine, and in today's video, I'm going to be preparing for a new semester. I feel like I should give you some context. I'm not going to tell you where I go to school. I mean, it's not a secret. I have markings of it everywhere around me. But I will tell you that I'm a junior getting a BA in some type of psychology, and I'm also part of the honors college here at my school, which affects what kinds of classes I take, especially this semester, because most of my classes this semester are honors. The first thing I always like to do for a new semester is set up a schedule page in my bullet journal. I just color code my classes, put the time, where it will be, generally what subject it is. If, say, I'm taking communication for executives, I'm still just going to call it calm instead of being specific. So, like, this semester I'm taking SciTechCom. I'm just referring to it as calm in my bullet journal. And right here you see me going to my video planner and trying to plan out the first month's worth of content for YouTube for school. I mean, it's only technically half a month's worth of content because um, yeah, August is like halfway over. <laughs> it's Thursday and three of my professors have already posted on canvas so they already have their syllabi up and they've sent emails to us about like whether the textbooks are recommended or required and which editions we can use and such so I just ordered some books I wasn't going to order from Amazon but first of all one of the rentals was literally half the price as a rental from my school bookstore so I was like yeah, I'm gonna get that one. And then I also ordered Brave New World on Amazon because it was about the same price, but I had one day shipping on it, and apparently we're starting to read that in like the second week of class. So it was like ha ha. And um, then one one book was easy was cheaper through the school's website, so I went that route for that to rent. So it took a lot of finagling, but. I did that and looking at those different prices and reading and hearing what the teachers have to say about the books those are all the most important part for me about getting textbooks and also my sister did give me her old biology textbook because she took um, bio 2 here and I'm taking bio 1 and luckily we're using the same book and on the textbook page it's the third edition I have the second edition but in the syllabus it said second or third edition so I'm Gucci so shout out to my sister for lending me her book in my opinion the most essential thing to do in prepping for a new semester at college is to make sure I have my weekend routine down solid you would think that this wouldn't be the most important part like wouldn't you want to focus on your homework schedule or your study schedule or your class schedule or literally anything else but in my experience a weekend routine Routine is the only thing at some points in the semester that keeps me sane enough to keep going with all of those other routines. So since today is Saturday, I just went and threw my like two weeks worth of laundry in the laundry. So that's one thing. I'm also going to reset my meds for the week, make sure I get some quiet time in. Usually I do my laundry on Sundays. However, on campus, Sundays are the days when um, literally everyone tries to do their laundry. So I'm trying to switch things up a bit. I also try to do it early in the morning because that's when nobody else does it. So it's like 8 a.m. and my laundry's in the laundry and it should be fine. I should have no problems getting like the machines that I want or that I need. And really the most essential part of the weekend is getting my headspace right. That sometimes is exclusively about getting my space right, like taking out the trash, vacuuming, doing laundry, stuff like that. Other times it's literally just about taking care of my own mental health and stepping back from the week, reviewing what happened, reviewing how I felt, and the changes that I can make to make the next week moving forward go better. I only have one class tomorrow, but I'm still going to pick out my outfit in hopes that that will make it feel like a real first day of school. So I'm going to be fancy and pick something out of my closet. So things that are hanging up, ignore this random hanger. Um, it's for the sweater that I have out. Anyway, I'm gonna pick one of these bad boys, probably a collared shirt if I had to guess, um, and actual pants, not leggings. I'm manifesting it now. I'm gonna wear actual pants tomorrow. Let's see what I come up with. 
masterful, genius, brilliant, amazing. And probably these shoes, but we'll see. Prepping for school also includes getting the lanyard and um, ID holder that you need to wear every day on campus now because COVID. Sectioned off the first book that I'm reading one of my classes. I wrestled with my printer for two hours and I still can't get it to work. That's just life. I also made a to-do list for tomorrow. I did some gratitude journaling. I'm just chilling, trying to enjoy time by myself. And this is going to be the end of this video because classes start in the morning and it's 9 10 so i gotta get ready to go to bed so i can get um that nice perfect night of sleep before i wake up and enjoy class tomorrow i'm pretty sure i will be vlogging my first couple days of the semester so stay tuned for that i think if you take anything away from this video i want it to be that you can spend as much time as you want preparing for something whether it's school or a big life change and you're still not going to feel ready or like you did enough or like you have all the tools that you need to succeed and that's okay. The only reason I did the things that I did in this video was for me because I had the time and I wanted to do them and I felt like they'd be helpful and they gave me something to do to pass the time. Like oddly enough, wrestling with the printer for two hours while it was frustrating was a really good distraction for me and it helped me focus on something. So all that to say, this isn't meant to be any sort of guide as to how you should prepare for things, especially a new semester because everybody's situations are going to be different and um, I sure don't know what I'm doing most of the time. So if you don't know what you're doing, that's normal. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and comment down below. What's your favorite way to prepare for a big life change, whether it be the start of a new semester, moving, starting a new job. What's the one thing that really keeps you grounded in times like that? If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe for more reading, writing, and college lifestyle content on Wednesdays and Sundays. Thanks for stopping by, passing through. I'll see you all soon with a new video. Bye humans, bye.